Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the hardest characters in Smash Ultimate in the sense of which of these characters would be the hardest to pick up and do well with in tournament. So we have three tiers here, hard, super hard, and goats. This is basically just the top five which we will get to, but I want to start with the hard tier. We're not going to be going over every single character, but the general rule here is either you don't have really any incredibly difficult combos, your neutral is super easy, you have massive disjoints that you can kind of just throw out, or you just don't need to think as much, you can kind of project L spam. Now, there's some characters in here that I could see move to hard. Uh, Greninja, I'm actually going to move to hard because his movement is pretty difficult, but there's characters like uh, Terry, Ken, Kazuya, Ryu, they all have inputs, so that could make them harder, but they don't have like... If you hit their moves, you should be killing them within, like, five hours of playing the character, which, like, isn't that many if you're just, like, in the lab. Maybe Kazuya is up. Actually, I am going to move Kazuya up just because, like, Electric Wind Godfist stuff, it is not super easy to be hitting that all the time. But once you kind of hit that little skill floor, which isn't, like, the hardest thing to hit, it's, like, you get so, so much better. So that is the only reason he's not in Goat, because his tech is fairly difficult. But then there's also characters like Pichu, Olimar. They're all difficult. I just think that they have, like, enough things that you can kind of just throw out that they aren't in the hard, or the super hard tier. Because, by the way, every character at a top level, you'll notice there's no easy. Every character at a top level in this game is really, really hard. I'm also going to move up Brawler. Now, super hard are characters that you kind of need to have really good tech for or good movement. Fox, you need to have really good movement, good tech. Zero Suit, Joker, uh, Shulk, they all need to have incredible movement, plus Shulk has Monado Arch, that stuff is all really hard. Ice Climbers, you need decent stuff. Steve, you don't need really hard combos, but it would be like, disrespect to put him in just hard because of all the incredible stuff that he has, and that if you're doing, like, consistently, that's not easy. Sephiroth, his spacing needs to be immaculate. Link, uh, Bomb Stuff. Sora, you need to have really good fair combos. Rosalina is like Luma control, which is difficult. Bayo is like stuff like reading SDI. I'm sure there's, again, some characters in here that might be like troubles with reading SDI. Maybe Banjo. Like, I know Banjo has some hard tech stuff, but it's like tasked to a point, so I don't even know if it's worth including. But Banjo, actually, I'll move, I'll move Banjo up to square. I'm just kind of doing this as we go. Uh, but yeah, but Bayo needs to cover tech stuff. Greninja's movement is just very hard, and then like just moving consistently around. You don't want to be not shielding with that character at all, and then if you are shielding, you want to be foot out of shield basically every single time. Me Brawler is reaction to your combos. Same thing with the eye as well. Kazuya, uh, we already kind of talked about that, and then Banjo just has some pretty hard combos as well. But again, these are my top five. Some characters I could see moving up to hard are maybe Hero because menu control... PT, because you have to play three characters, but, like, none of the three are super difficult. Maybe Squirtle is being the hardest out of all of them. Inkling, because you need to be getting your kill confirms basically every single time. Mega Man, who I will move up there because just Leaf Blade and Shield. Or, uh, sorry, Gear. You need to be really good with Gear and, like, hitting your up tilts, hitting your conversions. Like, also, camping is, like, not super easy with a character like Mega Man, who doesn't have, like, crazy, crazy projectiles. Like, camping with a character like Toon Link or Young Link, it's like, okay, I can just kind of throw it in arrow. But camping with a character like Mega Man, you need to, you need to be thunking for that. And yeah, that is kind of how I want to leave this for now. If there are characters that you disagree with, again, let me know down below. I probably won't move any up. I mean, if we, if we get enough requests, maybe I mess this up badly, we'll make another list. But I think this is, for the most part, good. And these are my top five. The people that would be in contention for the top five are probably Joker, Zero Suit, Steve, and Shulk would be the biggest advocates of it. Maybe... Sheik? Oh no, Sheik's already in the top five. <laughs> Maybe Icy's? But like, I think these are, these are the top five that I'm pretty confident are the hardest in the game at a top level. And the first one is going to be Sheik. Sheik, you need to have very good movement with, which I think is super hard to do. It's like very like underrated, like characters or people that are able to move incredibly well. Like Leo. Leo's movement is what makes him so good. I feel like it's kind of overlooked. Like everyone talks about his spacing, but they don't talk about the reason his spacing is so good. It's because he's conniving, he's weaving, he's ducking, he's dodging all the way around the stage. And it's so hard to hit him. And with Sheik, you have an advantage where your movement is incredible, but you need to be utilizing it very well all the time. And you need to be getting the most out of every single combo you hit. If you're hitting like a forward air, you need to be taking 50 off that. If you're getting a grab you need to be getting at least 60 you're hitting like if they hit your shield you should be foot still down airing them out of shield and killing them at 70 percent every time you hit needles they should be like dying or taking a bunch every time you hit a sweet spot down tilt dying or taking a bunch of percent like it is so important with Sheik that you're always getting your combos and in tournament that is not something that is easy to do and also he just has like or she just has like incredibly hard tech like raindrop hitting a raindrop all the time not very easy to do a uh, foot to shield consistently not super easy especially converting off it with an up smash as well it's like she just has a ton of really hard tech, plus her movement is pretty difficult to master, and that is why I have her as in the GOAT tier, the fifth hardest character in the game. The fourth hardest character is going to be Snake. Now, Snake has a bunch of things about him that don't seem very hard. 
One of them is his dash attack. The second one is his up tilt. Those two things you look at that, it's like, Snake isn't already just spams those moves on Elite Smash and he destroys me. But then you have to think about the top level. Okay, people aren't just going to run into that. They're going to be ready for it. And now they're bullying you in disadvantage. You as a Snake player need to get out of disadvantage all the time. I think he, he doesn't have the worst disadvantage in the game, but he has one of the worst disadvantages in the game. And he also has a bunch of incredibly hard tech. Specifically with grenade combos. Grenade combos, like Apollo Kage is the best snake right now because his grenade combos are the best. Every single time Apollo Kage hits you with a grenade, he's basically, he's getting a back air, he's getting an up air, he's getting a nair, he's getting like a forward air even sometimes. Like Apollo Kage is converting off every single grenade and that's kind of what you need to do as a snake player. You need to be making sure that your grenade placement is really good so A, they can't like get it and like use it against you because that's like how you beat snake is you use his grenade against him and B, so you can convert off that. You can't just use it like a mindless projectile. It's like, it's like Luma. A grenade is your friend. You need to be using it well. It is not something you throw out because if you throw it out, you throw in the trash. Someone else can pick it up. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. And remembering about that stake all the time is really hard. Plus, like, Nikita is also something that seems easy, but, like, hitting people consistently with Nikita, just tracking their movements, like, predicting where they're going to go, isn't the easiest thing in the world. He has a bunch of difficult setups. A lot of his stuff, again, is extremely committal. If you miss, like, if you miss, like, you're going for, like, a read, you miss a nair, you miss, like, a back air, you're going to get punished and you're going to be put in that terrible disadvantage which you need to like double c4 grenade be reversed to get out of like it is he's really hard to pilot at a top level and super hard to be consistent with i don't know how all the stakes do it's it's unreal now also okay before i forget uh tech chasing with grab you should be like tech chasing with down throw basically every time you should be not everyone does but you should be that reactionary is just not easy now next is pikachu Pikachu is hard because, one, his tech, like, he just has so many difficult combos. Like, Nair stuff is really hard. Uh, up air stuff is really hard. His fair stuff, I don't think he has anything crazy. Back air loops aren't super difficult. But uh, getting the read on the DI with, like, up throw, getting the read with up air combos into up B, like, or down B, rather. He just has, like, so much tough tech. And the amount of 50-50s that you do with Pikachu is, like, it's insane. Because that's, like, kind of where Pikachu makes his strides. He is 50 50 you when he shoots a T-Jolt and he runs at your shield. Are you going to jump? Are you going to stay in shield? Are you going to spot dodge? I guess that's, like, a, a 33, 33, 33, but 50 50 does sound clear. It's like, are you going to basically tank this T-Jolt to your shield, or are you going to jump and try to avoid it? And Pikachu, as a player, you have to be ready for one of those. You have to be in the position to punish that one, because if you're not, like, positioning yourself so you can punish, like, an edge guard or a T-Jolt, like, you're going to be finding it so difficult to be successful and every single time you get that punish you're going to want to be playing optimally you're going to want to hit your combos and hitting a combo like pikachu combo where you have to read di like you have to read di with almost every single pikachu combo that's not easy to do you have to look for that little blue line i don't even know where that thing is half the time i don't know how the pikachu players do it it's very hard the only thing making him a little bit easier is because he kind of does have a gimme card with that up b he has a little bit of a get out of jail free card and also like t jolt is just kind of broken in neutral you can't just spam it without thinking too much but if you want to be doing well with the character you need to be thinking a ton now here we are the top two who is it is it daisy peach or sonic well i can tell you right now that daisy peach is second because sonic's the hardest daisy and peach their neutral is crazy i don't know how mutace does what he does the way mutace moves is a mystery to me like it is unreal like, and your turn-up combos need to be precise. Your float precision needs to be incredible. down tilt combos need to be good. You need to be, like, kill-confirming every single time. Every single time you get a kit with Peach, you need to make the most of it, because you don't know when your next hit's going to be. Because getting in with Peach is difficult. She's stubby. She is slow. Her airspeed is trash. She doesn't have any incredible burst options besides, like, maybe dash attack, or, like, not dash attack, side B. But, like, you should be reacting to side B, probably, if you're ready for it. Like, Peach has... A lot of amazing stuff. It's just so hard to hit the amazing stuff. And once you hit it, like you hit your opener, you need to be ready to execute. And you're not always going to execute. Getting the kill with her is incredibly difficult. Uh, living with her, like what like Mutace does, that is not normal. That's not like a thing that Peach players do. It's just the way that Mutace moves and he pilots the character at like such a perfect level that he like he shows what top Peach looks like. And there's a reason that Mutace is like kind of inconsistent it's because like one, he does have like some medical problems, but two, playing like that all the time is so difficult it's so mentally taxing especially through a long long bracket like you have to be putting in a lot more work than your opponents do usually but that reward that you get when you do get that hit is incredibly high and worth it because peach is broken now here we are the hardest character of the game in my opinion is sonic and this is not because he has any insane combos not because he is like terrible neutral it is because the amount of discipline that you need to play sonic optimally 
is not something that most people can do. To say lightly, you need to be so, so patient with this character if you want to do super well. And there's been like multiple, like a handful of people in the world that can do this. And I, if you disagree with me right now, completely agreeable. I think most people probably won't have Sonic as the hardest, but I implore you to try and pick up this character and just try to time someone out. Just do your absolute best to the mental capacity going in with the mindset of, I am going to time this person out. It is not easy. And now imagine that, okay, you finally do it. All that mental taxation, even if you do it first try. Now imagine going into every single set of a tournament and doing that every single time. You're always playing reactionary. You're always looking at what your opponent is doing. You have to avoid it. You have to avoid it. You have to be getting the most off your hit still. You like every time you hit with Sonic, you should still be getting 50%, which is not like the easiest thing in the world. He does have some hard combos. His edge guarding is good, but you it's again, you have to be covering the correct options. Your spacing needs to be good. Like it's just Sonic's discipline that you need for the character, it's not something that everyone can do. Like, some people, like, in the top five, it's just like, oh, a lot of people won't be able to do Peach combos, a lot of people can't do Pikachu combos, Snake stuff, they won't be able to convert off grenades, Sheik combos, they won't be able to do, and the movement for all of them, honestly, and Precision. Sonic is, like, 0.1% of the population can play Sonic, how Sonic is good and how he is meant to be played, and that is why, in my opinion, he's the hardest character at a top level, and I thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If there's someone that I left out, like a character that you think deserves to be moved to hard, or like super hard rather, I could definitely see it, there's like a bunch of them in here that I could like even see right now, like Rob, like you don't need to play him hard, but he has some insane tech, Meta Knight, like consistently getting your ladders might be difficult, I don't know, I'm not a Meta Knight player, but yeah, please let me know down below, this is no shot at anyone if you made any of these characters, no one is carried in this game, I I mean that in like the most sense like some people like they do better with certain characters but like everyone at a top level is hard for different reasons and yeah thank you guys for watching supports me in the absolute world to me lately if you have any video ideas stuff like that please leave them down below and be able to check them out content is tough to do daily but tomorrow i think is uh, we're gonna do a four p like or not a four p but like there's kind of four not majors this happening this weekend but like big tournaments that we're gonna be looking at all of them so get ready for that it's gonna be hype and yeah thank you for subbing Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.